okay, so you have persons in here that want to purchase an investment property. And they're, okay, now they decided, I do want an investment property. Well, there's so much options out there. Mm -hmm. Someone could purchase a single family home. Someone could do pre-construction. Mm -hmm. First off, what is a multiple, what's a, what, what is a multi-family home? And why should someone invest in a multi-family home compared to single family homes and pre-construction? Okay, so yeah, no, multi, uh, multi-family homes are uh, units, you know, two or more units that they have their own independent living spaces. You know, they, it's different entrances, uh, different everything. And um, so everything has its pros and cons. Um, with you know pre-construction condominiums multifamily it's depending on who you are but one thing that's great about owning a multifamily is that you're getting multiple rents um if you have just a single family home you know you do get the asset appreciation uh with it just like uh, all other real estate but if that tenant decides not to pay rent you know then you have no rent coming in the next month so that's one drawback of you know a single family home home with condos condos I, uh, condos are great i did have a condo but um you know you don't have to maintain it at all but one of the drawbacks for condos is and a lot of people don't take into account is maintenance fees the thing with maintenance fees is they increase every so often they they will never decrease so your cat even though you're paying down your mortgage that's wonderful but your maintenance will always keep increasing year five every five years three years whatever your your uh you know condo maintenance company you know how generous they are for the year to themselves sometimes you know so so that's the one thing the, the benefit of the condo is that you know you don't have to really manage it or anything but your cash flow is always it's slightly going to be eaten up every time um, because of the maintenance fees that's a really big drawback and if you're looking for something that gives you ca uh, cash flow um, you know it might be something you may not want to um, get into and then also Navon like um, you see condo prices have gone up so much you know like yeah. you, you're gonna need let's say to cash flow you're gonna need at least 35 percent down with multifamily homes what I see in multifamily homes is security and the fact that if you own a multifamily home you're charging multiple tenants for one property. So you're making more income. And only that, if one tenant decides to leave, then pretty much, you know, you're only losing a portion of your rental income, not the total amount. Um, single family, or if you have a single family home and the property is vacant, then pretty much you have no income coming in. You lose 100% of your rental income. And then with pre-construction, I got like pre-construction because you're able to purchase a property at today's prices. And then by the time you take possession of it, couple of years down the road is at an appreciated price. The mm -hmm. only thing is that the investment, that investment is kind of flawed because you're dependent on an appreciating market, which means if, 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 if the market goes down in value, then your investment strategy is pretty much flawed. So yeah. with multifamily homes, what you're able to do is you're able to purchase property that's cash flowing. And with real estate, it's cyclical. So sometimes it's going up, sometimes it goes down, sometimes it stays flat. So if I own a property and I'm making $300 a month, if, the, if, if values go down, I don't care because I know at the end of every single month I'm getting a check. So I can hold it for 5, 10, 15 years and I can wait it out so that, you know, if prices do drop, I can then sell it at an exceeded price from which I purchased it. So that's why I think multifamily um, is, is a really good, um, is a really good strategy.